Michael Schmuck-Henneresse, Charité Universitätsmedizin Berlin. Adoptive Cellular Immunotherapy for Viral Diseases. Good afternoon. Um, as we have already heard the impressive capacity of T-cells in combating cancer, I would like to talk about how to use uh, T-cells in uh, actually combating viral infection. An insufficient T-cell responsiveness results in an insufficient control of intracellular pathogens. So one solution may be the adoptive T-cell transfer, which comprises the isolation of T-cells and the subsequent um, enrichment and expansion of antigen-specific, viral antigen-specific T-cells and eventually infusing, infusing those cells back into the patients. However, we do face a problem to which T-cell subset uh, is the right one for high efficacy and long-lasting control. Um, let me show you one example where we need to restore the antiviral T-cell response um, in immunosuppressed um, solid organ transplantation or in a setting of hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, where due to the immunosuppression, the effector mechanisms are suppressed and viral infections like cytomegalovirus or Epstein-Barr virus uh, uh, can occur. So viruses are controlled by T-cells, so the infusion of virus-specific T-cell can restore antiviral immunity. Um, this is one example and where we infuse our so-called first-generation T-cell product into immunosuppressed solid organ transplantations, um, where you can see that when we infuse the cells um, to the patient that the viral load is dramatically declining within a short period of time and we have this impressive clinical improvement. However, we do see a relapse in many patients and the viral infection is coming back into, um, as does the viral disease. Um, this is a Weddington view uh, which conceptualizes an epigenetic landscape where you can see on top of the hill uh, the cells with the highest therapeutic efficacy, the least differentiation and the proliferative capacity. So on top of the hill, to, top of the hill we do see um, T cells with even stem cell capacities and um, followed by the central memory cells and uh, almost in the, in the valley of this um, we do see the so-called effector memory cells. And when we now have a look into in the patients uh, with repetitive viral infections, we, we see that in our first generation T-cell product, we have those so-called effector memory T-cells, whereas in healthy donors and transplanted patients without any viral infection, we do have uh, cells with this much better functionality and even like the central memory cells or the or <coughs> memory stem T-cells. So, our aim is to generate new protocols um, to actually climb up this mountain um, to generate a second or even third generation uh, products. Thank you very much.